Hey everyone, Microsoft reported fiscal 2023 fourth quarter earnings results. So in this video, I'm going to review their latest financial figures and also update my recommendation of Microsoft stock. Remember heading into these earnings report, I had recently downgraded Microsoft stock off of my list of top stocks to buy. The reason I downgraded Microsoft stock was because it had increased so much so far in 2023 that the valuation was getting kind of stretched. So I downgraded the stock. Now, after I reviewed these earnings results, I'm going to update that recommendation again. So you're gonna to wanna to tune in to see if I'm upgrading, downgrading, or keeping it the same. Let's total revenue of 56.2 billion increased by 8% year over year. Earnings per share of $2.69 was up 21% compared to the same quarter last year. So revenue and earnings growth was solid for the company which was fueled by an improvement from personal computing revenue, which was only down 4% year over year. That was a big improvement compared to the first quarter when personal computing revenue was down more. Remember, Microsoft generates a great deal of revenue from manufacturers buying its Windows software, and that comes with all kinds of other benefits like the add-on services of Microsoft uh, 365, Microsoft Office, and other software that Microsoft can attach when there are more computers being purchased. Cloud revenue jumped by 15% year over year. And let me touch on one more factor about computing. Remember, during 2020 and 2021, people spent a lot of money on buying computers. What do I mean by that? Well, Previously, households could do well with just having one computer in each house. Just one computer in each house because uh, household members would use that computer sparingly, right? They're at work or school most of the day. During the pandemic, that changed. Instead of having one computer per household, that changed to needing one computer per member of the household because each member now needed a computer. If you were going to school, you needed the computer for school. If you were a working age adult, you needed the computer to work from home. So it went from one computer per house to every single person inside the house needed a computer. So computer sales exploded. What that did though was that brought forward demand from future years. So people that were gonna buy a computer in 2023 probably already bought one in 2021. Typically, computers get replaced every four to six years. And so that created a gap where people were not buying as many computers. And that's why you see personal computing revenue down for Microsoft, and it's been down for several quarters. And I don't expect this to increase at least for an, uh, a couple of quarters. As demand will start to increase from people replacing the computers they bought in early 2020 and middle of 2020. Impressively, Microsoft RPO, its remaining performance obligations, increased by 19% to $224 billion. That's a massive backlog of revenue that Microsoft has from its clients, from its customers, and that gives an insight into what future quarters revenue is going to look like. RPO turns into revenue as Microsoft performs those obligations. Cash flows from operations increased by 17% to $28.8 billion. All in all, an excellent quarter from Microsoft performance-wise. What was a bit disappointing was the guidance which wasn't all that surprising to me. The main disappointment from the guidance was that Microsoft's rollout of artificial intelligence um, product add-ons to its Microsoft 365 service are going to generate revenue later than expected and less than expected. So it, I think the artificial, the hype in artificial intelligence has been a bit overdone and so i was expecting this pullback partly i th that was partly why i downgraded microsoft stock earlier 
saying that it had increased so much already in 2023 that it had gotten ahead of itself. I was not expecting the fundamentals to back up that huge price increase that Microsoft has already experienced. So to answer the question, am I upgrading or downgrading Microsoft stock? I am not moving it anywhere. So I downgraded it earlier from one of my top stocks to buy to just it's just rated as a buy right now for me and I'm keeping it there I would still rate Microsoft stock as a buy it's down about 5% after announcing these earnings results so the valuation has gotten a little bit better although it's still not cheap so if investors are interested I'm still rating Microsoft stock a buy all right but that's all I've got for this video thank you so much for watching I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.